Uh, so we are here, and every morning at about 8.50, Adam comes on with his best bets of the day. And Adam, what you got for today, buddy? What's up, guys? How what? are you? Good, Long man. weekend. Yeah, long good. weekend. Very Mike's... successful weekend betting, though. And Mike sound yeah. good, man. Thanks oh. for improving all that. Yeah, I, I did a little bit. Not too much. Yeah, not too someone much. had success. Yeah. I got to stop betting on Chinese basketball. <laughs> I don't know why I do it. Joey is probably the funniest guy here. He'll, like, bet midday. Like, the time zone difference is, like, 11 hours, and he'll go bet on a game that nobody knows what's going on. He's like, eh, what do you think? They'll cover? I'm like, I, I don't know. <laughs> Who is this team? He's like, bet place. <laughs> bet place. <laughs> but... Today we got four locks. These are teams I'm super, super confident in. Uh, we're going to start with the Charlotte Hornets against the Utah Jazz. I got them covering. I don't got them winning, but I got them covering. 12 points. Charlotte's been uh, their fifth, actually, in uh, closest games, uh, score uh, point score margin-wise. So they've been in every game. They're a really good team. They just came off a really weird win against the Golden State Warriors. So... We'll see what happens. I'm super confident in that they'll. I'll, I'll take the 12 points. Utah Jazz, though, have been blowing out every team they've been playing. Every team. So God knows the Hornets need the 12 points. Nothing, no feedback. Yeah, no. I, I mean, <laughs> you're not a fan of not a fan of the Hornets. I, anytime there's a big point spread like that, it scares the hell yeah. out of me. It really does. I, I'm not a big fan of taking those big point spreads, but I, I do agree that they've been blowing them out every single mm -hmm. game. Yeah, Jazz, Jazz look like a real, real team, man. Yeah, yeah, they, they're legit. But speaking of a real team, uh, a team that's missing Anthony Davis actually is the Los Angeles Lakers. Yep. Uh, they've been kind of on a on a little skid. They haven't been playing that great. Oh, that's last... what happens when LeBron doesn't have uh, somebody to carry the weight for <laughs> I, him. I fed that oh, to you. I was hoping. That. I was imagine hoping that. LeBron can't get it done without another superstar, huh? I was hoping you would do that. <laughs> uh, they actually play the Washington Wizards tonight, who are coming off a very, very good victory against the Portland Trailblazers. But I'm going to trust LeBron to be a very ta untalented uh, Washington Wizards team. Other than Bradley Beal, they don't got shit. Please don't tell me Russell Westbrook, the guy is shooting below 40%. No, not below. I'm being kind. <laughs> below 35% from the field. Uh, I don't want to hear anything about Russell Westbrook. Yeah, no, I wanted Russ here in uh, the Pistons land. But uh, after what we're seeing in Washington... Yeah. Uh, I'm okay Russell we Westbrook <laughs> is the only player in the NBA I know that will average a triple-double and his plus-minus off the court will be like minus 15. Yeah. Does nothing to improve the team. And there's a reason why he couldn't win with James Harden. Doesn't matter where he goes, he's not going to win. Yeah, no, he could have been an incredible sixth man for somebody. Yeah, could have been a, a good eighth, eighth person eighth on the, person. On the <laughs> Pistons roster. Man. I think we'd put him at eight for sure. Yeah, I'm not a, obviously I'm not a Russell Westbrook fan. <laughs> no, no, you hate him. Yeah, not a fan. But next game. Phoenix Suns, man. Chris Paul. I don't know what he's done the last five years, but there's something maybe in his attitude or his work ethic that's changed. That if he had while at the Clippers, I think they have could have won more playoff series. Hear me out. Hear me out. He's gone to the Thunder now and now to the Suns. And he has changed the mindset of the team. Like, this team is actually a very, very good team. He was the same player for the Clippers, man. Look what he uh, did to DeAndre Jordan. Look what he did with Blake Griffin. Like, yeah, no, man, I'm, don't, don't no, be no, doing no. this to Chris Paul. I'm not dogging don't. him. No, no. I'm talking from a culture and a, a team leadership standpoint. He was, a, He's a dog. You know, he's a he's an aggressive guy. And you can see, like, these last two, three seasons, he's really taken younger guys under his wing. He's been super uh, helpful from a development standpoint. Uh but that has nothing to do with tonight. It's just the overall big picture of how the Suns have really elevated. I, th I think they're a contender in, in the West for sure. And they're playing the Trailblazers. I got them <laughs> I got them winning straight up tonight. What about Dame? You got Dame doing anything uh, tonight? No, uh, you know, Dame is one of the guys I, I wish I wish would move. But that that team peaked two years ago. So yeah. uh, I think it's at, all downhill after. You look at the Suns in these last two games. Mm -hmm. They have won by about 50 points. Mm -hmm. Like they, when they win, they even whooped the Pelicans ass the other mm -hmm. day, and I was like, man, yeah, they don't do that to the Pelicans. <laughs> not my Pelicans. Not, not, no. Not Joey, Adam. Joey was a big fan of the Pelicans game last night with the Boston Celtics. It was man. a good game, man. Good Pelicans, game. what? What they come back from? Like twenty-five down, thirty-five down, down, the largest yeah. in their history. In their franchise. Huge. Well, last game of the night. That is my super, super, super lock. Is going to be the St. Louis Blues. Over the Los Angeles Kings, actually. I'm going to take hockey as my super, super lock. So this is, this is this if, you, if you had money and you want to win, this is the game you got to bet on right well, here. Well, you bet on all these games. I'm very, very confident in every single game. And, fun fact, if you decided to parlay them and put them all on the same sheet, 
If you bet 20 bucks, you could win a nice, solid $95. Nice. Yeah. So individually, each one of those are strong bets. And if you guys oh, yeah. want to decide to put those on a parlay, you got a nice little payoff on there. Of all of those, I am probably taking your money line bet, the Lakers over the Wizards. Because oh, yeah. to me, that's the biggest layup of the night. Yeah, whenever you play a team with Russell Westbrook on you, you have a really good <laughs> chance of winning. So it's not surprising. Well, it is a little weird because LeBron doesn't have somebody to carry all the weight for him. So it's going to be an interesting game. <laughs> he lost I, by two points the other day. You're making it seem like he got blown up by 56 points. Who? Lakers. Ah, that, they lost. Watch them win tonight. Uh, uh, no, we'll they, they should win they tonight. They should win tonight. If they don't win tonight, then I'm very right. <laughs> and uh, you don't want that, LeBron, because I'll be on here every day talking about I how think, you lost I think to the Stick, Wizards. I think Stick could start his own show and spend two hours every day talking about LeBron. Yeah, I it's going to be, sure. it's gonna be the worst sure. garbage show in the world. <laughs> Well, yeah, because it's filled with facts and Full statistics. Yeah. We'll see when he wins the ring again. Yeah, not just, oh, again. LeBron. Oh, I love you, LeBron. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, That's no. what I do. I, I do this all day. <laughs> it's the goat right there. That's the goat. You're playing with the goat balls. Ooh, I don't know about goat, but yeah, yeah. sure. All right. Well, those are Adam's uh, locks of the day, mm -hmm. and if you feel like putting them in a parlay, you could do that too, but individually, mm -hmm. each one of those are strong bets. We, we've got an 87% win rate so far on our locks that we've been doing. Damn. Uh, Friday, we went 4-1. and one. Pat last Thursday, 3-2. and 4-1 and one on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Monday, actually. We had a solid week last week. Nice. Yeah. Well, keep it up, man. Yeah. Keep, keep making people money, and make sure you go to mybookie.com and enter your promo code Woodward, and mm -hmm. they will match your first deposit up to $1,000. Plus, they have all the games Adam has on there, plus awesome prop bets, like and just fun, fun, fun stuff to gamble on, like... You know, I love prop bets. To me, that's if you're not an experienced gambler and you're not somebody that's crunching the numbers and breaking them down, but you want to have fun and be like, oh, this guy's going to score 20 points and it adds some intrigue to the game, do it. Just if have you some want, fun. If you want serious fun, what you should do is pick five games and bet who the first scorer of the game will be or what kind of field goal it is, whether it's a three-pointer or a two-pointer or a free throw. That's fun. That I just hate, gives I, you interest for the first like minute of the game and then you're like, all right, I'm out. I hate those ones where you do guess like the first score because then the rest of the game you're pissed or you're happy as heck <laughs> yeah it's one or the other depends how much you put on it yep so those are adam's bets of the day uh brought to you by my bookie go to mybookie.com right now we're going to take a quick 15 second break when we come back joey's news